Today on the 1960 Chevy, we are installing new floor pans. Now these floor pans weren't rotted all the way through. They were rusty in the middle because of the carpets that were in here. This car came from California and it never saw the salt. And anybody that knows these cars knows that they rot differently from the winter salt rot. This was just the middle. So because these are structural, I decided to do the whole thing. A couple things about floor pans when you do them. Um, what I like to do is I put the pan in, obviously cut the old one out, and I weld it up here, and then under the car, I do a weld about a couple of inches or so in to overlap it. And, and the reason for that is to give it strength because this the floor is really a structural member in the car. These particular floor pants came from Classic Industries. I have to say they're very, very high quality. These are the best pants I've ever put in. And um, I'll never buy them from anywhere else again. I don't know who makes these for them. Um, but these are very, very good. They fit perfectly. No problem. Nice thick gauge to them. And um, I can't see anything but good. So... You're going to weld them across here. I already grind. I was grinding my welds down. We call it knocking it down. I'm going to knock them down one more time. Then what you're going to do is you put a um, sealer in between, a primer or sealer. I use Pour 15. Uh, I have a lot. Of, I, listen, I see things online that people say they don't like Pour 15 because of this and that. Uh, I have never had a problem with it. You need to follow the directions. Follow the directions. Wash the metal, number one. Prep the metal, number two. And when it does, it gives it a good bite so so that the the material, the pour 15 could bite into it. And once you do that, you, you wash it and, and etch it. That stuff will work for years and years. Either that or Hirsch's Miracle Paint would work just as well. So there you have it, the floor pans. Um, and we'll continue this tomorrow. Stay tuned.